everyone, this is Elvin coming to you live from Singapore. Welcome to Living with Mamang where we showcase food, travel, not much travel now, huh? Uh, but yeah, traveling in Singapore, I guess. And also, daily life of what it's like living in Singapore. And if you haven't caught my first video, which I did with all the weird snacks that we actually can find in Singapore, all the local flavored snacks, it's pretty weird. But you can check, you know, one by the cards right at the top. And this time, I'm going to be eating some bubble tea inspired snacks. If you caught the intro, you will have seen that I've actually saw some of these out and about while I was, you know, window shopping and I figured I'll give it a taste test. And here, wait, where are my items? Hmm, let me, let me fix that. Ah, here you are. All these are bubble tea related flavored snacks. You know, you, you have your popcorns, which I think many of you have tried. I've seen this Kit Kat that is bubble tea flavored. And this, which apparently is bubble tea cake. I don't know why there's bubble tea creations of this sort. Bubble tea is even my wife loves. I don't necessarily drink them. I do know what bubble tea tastes like and a few different flavors of bubble tea. But the original bubble tea is, of course, the bubble tea milk tea we are talking about. It's basically just tea with milk. You know, and with the pearls, you know, those pearls, those chewy pearls, the chewy, 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 chewy pearls that you know, munch on. And you always have a struggle when you finish the drink and you cannot finish the pearl because the pearl is left alone. And sometimes you don't eat them, you know, but it is what it is. Anywho, uh, for this video, I'm just going to taste and try and see whether these are actually worth your money. Because would you rather spend money on bubble tea itself or these? So maybe let's start with maybe the popcorns, uh, I guess. This is a relatively new creation, the Nestle Air Popcorn. There were a few other flavors, but I took this because it's bubble tea and it's reflective of the theme that we have here. And there's quite a bit, quite a lot. And of course with this, sounds different. Of course, uh, maybe this is more compressed. This is locally made. No, this is a product of Vietnam, as you can tell from the Vietnam words. But of course, it's imported in, to Singapore. While wow, this is actually imported from Taiwan, manufactured in Taiwan. Vietnam, Taiwan, the original bubble tea, Taiwan. So let's start with the Vietnam one first. So we basically have to tear it open. Why I always have trouble tearing this open? <coughs> okay, this. It's resealable, and then of course, as you can see, it's resealable. And oh, look at it! It's quite a bit, quite a bit inside. Hmm. The colors are quite nice. Looks quite flavored. Let me let me have a taste test. Hmm, I can taste the bubble tea. Not necessary with the pearl. It's a bit sweet, but like, a bit too sweet. I kind of like it. I actually kind of like it. I kind of forgot how much it's, it's cost. Uh, I'll put a link down below to, for you to go and purchase it if you wish to. Uh, and really, to be frank, it's really not bad. Good job, Nestle. Let's try the original popcorn. They call it Pop Smile. My Chinese is quite bad. Don't drink the milk. I have no idea these two words I would call what. Uh, if you all know, please comment down below. Uh. No need to put it in the, the fridge. Uh. That's what usually your bubble tea lovers do. You buy and then you put it in the fridge. If you can't finish all you want, intend to buy and drink in another day. You have to store it in the fridge. But this, you don't. So this is, if, I'm, don't, if I recall correctly, this actually is more expensive than this. Don't quote me on that. Again, link in below. These are not, I'm not sponsored, but I figured I would try and... You know, being Singapore a bubble loving place, you know, with all the queues, even straight after co uh, Circuit Breaker Phase 1, I don't know when did we open the bubble tea, I think it was Phase 2 or in between Phase 2, the queues were so long. Even back then when they were going to close because of Circuit Breaker of COVID-19, the queues were stretched until midnight, you know, it's over the news. 
So I figured would this quench your thirst? I don't really think it does because I do see them on the shelves. So they are not really sold out. But yeah, you can see. It's slightly less colouring, unfortunately. I can see some that's different colours. Where else? This one is one colour. You know what I'm If I pull up any random two, it's the same colour. Whereas this one, it's different colours. Interesting. Let's try one with the same colour one. That's with the Nestle. Oh, wait. Oh, that's different. It tastes less crunchy. As you can hear from that, the Nestle one, it actually pops. This doesn't, surprisingly. Less sweet too, which is also very surprising. I'm tasting the one with the brown one. Let's taste the one with the white one. Tastes the same, actually. I don't know why the different color. I think just coloring, I guess. It's actually, I think, just coloring. But I'm quite surprised. You like the crunchier version of the popcorn. This actually tastes more like popcorn. The texture is more popcorn than this one. This one has more of a crunchy feel to it. But this, I kind of like this one, the taste better. Okay, okay. I, I, I. I'm going to taste both of them together. Yeah, together, together. Oh, the more you bite them, the more you chew, they actually grows on you. Well, this one, not really. This one, I'll let my wife taste. I think she'll love this too. She loves a bubble tea. She's always buying from Gong Cha, Koi, you know. She orders them on apps like Grab, you know, Deliveroo, you know. Those bubble tea shops. And my god, these popcorn ones. I'm quite saddened by the fact that you can't reseal it. You actually have to finish it all once you open it. But of course, if you can find a resealable bag, go for it, you know. And then we'll go for a Kit Kat. This Kit Kat is pretty amazing. Also by Nestle. Nestle, really, Nestle Singapore really knows the taste of Singapore. They really love their bubble tea. I think they got inspired by the fact that Singapore got, you know, they can't travel, so they need their bubble tea. I don't know how the relation is that together, but it is together. And we have this. So, this, I found this at, where did I find it at? Cold Storage, of all places. I didn't really see it in NQC. This, the Nestle ones, I saw in, in uh, Cold Storage. It could be an exclusive at Cold Storage. If I do find it in other places, I'll link it below again. Let's open this. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Have hot. How do you open your Kit Kats, by the way? Do you tear it down? Do you open it with your dainty fingers, pulling it this way? I can't do it. Uh, comment down below how you, how you, how you open your Kit Kats. The groove and then just slide. God damn it. Okay. Hard. Oh. Okay, 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 I see. If it's in a refrigerator, throw a bit cold, it wouldn't be so gooey like that. But you have the two colors. Uh, again, as well, like the bubble tea, as with the popcorn. That's actually like two different versions of the colors. And then we're just gonna have a go and see how tasty it tastes. And how bubble tea tastes it, look, it will be. I actually trying to figure out the taste. I actually can't taste much of the bubble tea or the sweetness of it or any. There's the tea taste in it. But I just can't seem to figure out the bubble in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you, know, you know, you know, bubble tea, you know, that taste. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish this up. I think because it has a unique, the, the, the Kit Kat taste kind of overpowers whatever they're trying to achieve in a bubble tea. You can actually sense the bubble tea, but for the strongness, the strength of a bubble tea, you know, to reside in this, the popcorn does it better. I wouldn't really recommend it. The popcorn though, I would recommend it. This is our finale. I like to leave the dessert the last. As with my other video, the very first episode of the weirdest snacks that we try, do like and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> so this is a bubble tea cake done by... I kind of forgot which cake shop was it. It was in Century Square. Hold up, let me check. The Pine Garden. The Pine Garden. How could I forget that? Anyway, they have a few outlets if I'm not wrong, but it's not really sh shown on the packaging or the the box that it comes in, which I will, you know, show it over. And the main branch is in Amokyo. But I got this 
at Century Square, we were just, you know, happily walking around, you no know, window shopping. They are quite, I think they're over the news with the white rabbit candy cake that they made and a few other creations, local flavored creations, which I will showcase what we bought also in this video, uh, a simple montage. But for this video, I'm going to try their bubble tea cake. And if you were to visit them at I think a certain timing, they actually have a slight discount. If you buy a few cakes, you will get maybe a $3 off. You know, if you buy three, you know, of selected ones. Not all of it are included. But let's have a go at this, shall we? Looks fantastic, by the way. The, I mean, I would think that this is the bubble, the, the ball, the, the Zhen Zhu, we call it. Zhen Zhu Nai Cha, you know. I'm not sure why they have this coating around. Hmm, let's, let's taste it. So let me try. I don't know what I'm tasting, to be very frank. <laughs> I, I, mm, maybe I need a bigger bite? I don't know. Tastes like a normal vanilla cake. Yeah, I think this topping recreates the, you know, the bubble tea feel where you have munch on it. It's, it's hollow. I got cheated. It's hollow, man. It's, there's nothing in it. Never mind. Just like the whole cake. I can't really tell. Oh, now I get to feel the, the milk. This is quite surprising. Now with everything in place, let's try with ingredient. With the, I think this is white chocolate. Let's try it with white chocolate. And then the cake itself with this topping. Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm really trying my best to see why they created it. It just tastes like a normal cake, normal fluffy cake. The, the, the cake, is okay. It tastes normal, but to call it a bubble tea cake, I can't get. I can't get it. I I seriously can't get it. Very weird. Very 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 weird. Hmm. Nope. Nope. This is a hard pass for me. Bubble tea more like no tea, no tea cake. Do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to find out more and see more of me eating all these weird snacks and you know, I'm gonna have more content for you guys while survive this COVID-19 stay at home, work from home, everything from home and I'm be going outside, you know, venture out and what I can find and showcase to you guys. So like, subscribe, follow me, you know, comment below, dislike if you want to dislike, I don't really care. But yeah, let's get right to it, shall we? There you have it, folks. This is all the bubble tea snacks, I call it. You know, they are strange in my opinion. What do you guys think? Have you eaten this before? Will you try this now that you've seen what I've eaten? And if you do, do like and subscribe to the channel. Comment below, like below, whether you are a bubble tea lover. Do you think I'm butchering these snacks? Do you like to eat these snacks? And I most likely will try to find some weird bubble tea creations. Like the actual bubble tea in some sort of other flavored form. I heard there's a cough syrup one, which I, I, I would like to try. That, that is. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.